All right. Hello, everyone. This is Day Trading Futures with JD, and I'm JD. Welcome back to the channel. And I apologize, I have not recorded a video in a while. I've been responding to some comments, uh, still engaging with the people of the channel, but I have been kind of focusing on uh, just trading and just having some things going on in life. And uh, anyway, so I'm back on. I'm going to try to get on a, back on a schedule, and I'm going to start a series with uh, how to day trade with $1,000, and it's going to be kind of a, one of those small account challenges, how to grow your account. Um, I have, uh, I want to go over the platforms that I use, the monthly charges of the platforms, and I'm not going to get into my strategy yet. Um um, cause I want to, before I start sharing it with everyone, I want to make sure that it works. It's going to be different from my, uh, five WMA cross and my 20 WMA cross, um, or the crossing of those two WMAs. Uh, so I'm going to get more into my strategy later, but I just want to first start off with, uh, showing you what I've used, the broker that I use and, um, my performance over the last, I think it's been 10 days, 10 trading days. All right. So as you see here, I have trading view up. And when you click down here at the bottom, if you're not aware, these are the different brokers that you can use. I've used AMP before and they're pretty decent, um, but they don't have a mobile uh, trading platform. And with trading view, trading view just started their mobile trading um, on their mobile app, I think a few months ago, maybe six, eight months ago, and not all brokers have integrated with their trading platform. I mean, with uh, Trading Views mobile trading. Okay, so when you're on the desktop, you have the full list of brokers to use. Uh, so I use uh, Trade of Eight. And whenever you click on this, it'll ask you for your username and password. And of course, then you can uh, connect, excuse me, connect to it. Um, when we, I want to kind of go over maybe my, um, yeah, I think I'll go over my account. So whenever you start, when you log in to Tradevate, um, you can add, they have a lot of different options. I don't want to get into the Tradevate desktop platform because I don't use Trade of Eight's platform. Um, it looks nice. It's got some bold, bright colors, <laughs> but um, I don't, I'm used to trading view. Um, I tried to trade off of the Trade of Eight chart and I ended up entering a position when I didn't need to and I had to close out, and it was like I'm, I'm, I lost like 20 bucks. It's not a big deal. I probably should have played around with it on the sim, you know, on, the, on a sim account. But I just uh, I like Trading View, so that's that's what I do. All right. So when I go up here to your account, um, I know it looks really confusing right now. You're like, well, you know, it's try to. Let's try to find, you know, how much I've made, what my performance is and all that. Uh, trade, uh, trade of eight keeps up with your performance. Um, they even give you, let's see. Let's go through here and just, I don't know exactly what day I started on, but um, we'll start off. I know it was after, okay. <clears throat> Today's August 27th, and all right, so here is a breakdown of what's been going on with me over here on the left side. So I started off with $1,000 um, as of yesterday, Friday, the August 26th, um, I'm up about a little over $500. Uh, as you see, all, all of my trades, um, 
I guess that's the uh, 509, but uh, it was a $610 gross. But of course, they took out the commissions and uh, that type thing. All right, so we're going to scroll down. So my winning percentage is 73.9, and losing, of course, is 26. Um, my largest loss was $175, and it talks about how long you were in trades, your average, that type thing. It actually is pretty good data. You can look at the individual trades itself and look and see, you know, uh, as you see here, you see a lot of, you know, 50, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, that type thing. Um, this my, my new strategy is just going to be like a little scalping strategy. Um, it's not going to I'm not looking for big eight to 10 point gains. And the reason for that is I'm using a small account. So I only have been trading between the hours of generally between the hours of 5 a.m. and I get out of every position before 7.30. And then uh, sometimes I may get back in right around 8 o'clock. And, and of course, these times are central times, um, right before the New York Open. And I do not trade the New York Open. Um, I've said that many times. Um, I usually wait 30 minutes or so until it cools down. Um, so before the New York Open, minus, like I said, the 7.30, I trade the ES. Um, as you can see, it's pretty low volume, um, low move. It's not, you know, only a tick or two movement, and that's why I scalp. Um, I'll generally... Well, we're in a downtrend here, so and I usually I uh, trade on the three-minute chart when I'm looking at this time frame. Let me just, just kind of give you a look at it. You know, it's just a very, I mean, it's a a lot of times it it's it'll consolidate during this time period, and a lot of times uh, and then other times it's, it gives you a good uh, trend. So it's you don't get very many surprises. And when you're trading a small account, especially with a futures broker, you have, um, you know, you can open an account with $500. But if you're trading the uh, ES accounts, not the, mic not the macros, you know, still one point is still 50 bucks. And you have to be very careful. So that's why I look for small uh, gains. And I look for um, small stops. Um, like I would, if I entered here, um, you know, I would probably only do my stop at about two points. And I would probably scalp at one point. <laughs> that increases my um, odds of winning. But it also helps me. I uh, maintain a, a small, a manageable uh, loss uh, if I lose anything. Um, now, it's up to you on how you want to do it. Uh, I know a lot of people talk about risk to reward ratios and that type thing. Um, and that's fine. I mean, everyone has their own system. But, you know, this, you know, I don't. And I'm still trying to play with my strategy, check and see what's been the most beneficial. Um, I don't mind scalping, taking you know, 50 bucks here and there because I only, my, my goal is to only make a hundred dollars a day with this small account. So, you know, I don't, it's, it works for me. I enter a position, look for 50 bucks and I close it. And then I'll wait again to the next position, uh, next, next, um, uh, opening trade and I get 50 bucks and I close it. And I'm happy with that because I only want, I will I've noticed with my behavior, my trading, my, my psychology, is if I look for those four to eight to 10 point wins, that's generally whenever I mess up. I overlook something um, and I lose that trade. I, I, I uh, you know, the price retracts and it hit, goes back and hits my stop. So that's just, you know, uh, 
I know it has a lot to do with placement of your trade and just sometimes if you just sit and wait and you know you, you'll you can ride through it but I don't like being in a trade more than you know five or ten minutes I, I just I like it quick easy profitable so this is what I do um, of course you know I am not a financial advisor or anything so obviously trade it trade at your own risk um, but that's what I like um, sometimes I will go to the RTY if it's um, if the ES mini is still too volatile if it just make makes big and crazy uh, movements you know the RTY is a little bit more stable um, you're not going to get uh, it, it takes a little bit longer I think to get one point but all in all RTY is a very good uh, structured you know I mean look at look at these look at this downtrend right here I mean it's a very good downtrend for you know almost three hours so I mean that that's perfect right so anyway all right oh also uh, there was one thing um, that I almost forgot I was going to talk about pricing of trade of eight all right so as you know to get futures trading data with trading view you have to have the the upgraded account i think it's i think they call it the pro account or something and then you have to pay an additional three or four bucks in all it's right around 18 to 20 dollars a month to get data and to have access to futures um with trade vape of course they're you know they're going to nickel and dime you too all right so you can trade just from their platform for for free, right? When you open an account. If you want to be able to use TradingView, you have to have an add-on. So when we go here to add-ons, you can add these different things, tick data history. I don't, I don't know exactly what, like tick stream, I haven't really looked into these other things, um, but as you see here, to be able to enable uh, trading view access, you have to pay ten dollars a month. I know, I don't like that, but it is what it is. I find value in using trading view. So far, I like Trade of Eight. Um, and that's another thing. We probably, I need to go over what the commission is. So anyway, okay. So the monthly fees, $10 to add access or to enable the access on TradingView. And then also, also the other thing is you have, if you're going to use the Tradeovate mobile platform, you have to pay an extra three dollars in you have to pay an extra three dollars a month for uh the the futures data you know i it's so it's like 13 dollars here on trade of eight and then another 18 to 20 dollars so in all you're going to pay about what is that 30 30 five bucks 35 to 40 bucks just in uh, subscriptions to be able to to be able to have access to trading view and to be able to use Tradeovate's mobile platform i think if you just wanted to use Tradeovate, uh then you'd only have to pay three dollars a month in uh fees and you can use their platform so it may be worth it to you to learn their dashboard how to enter and exit trades, how to set up, you know, bracket orders, that type thing on their desktop and their mobile. So maybe worth it to you. I don't know. All right. So let's go here. I want to. I'll show you. We'll go over. Of course, you can go to the website here and look to see what their uh, commissions are. And of course, they do offer other things. You can look and see which one is right for you. I like. I'm a futures trader. I like the way 
they move. I know, uh, you know, so I just stick with that. All right. So we're talking about just for the standard commission per side, 79 cents. It's not bad. Um, let me see how much I've spent in commissions. All right, so with total of trades, I've made, I guess, a total of 46 because, you know, we're talking about on the commissions, it's round trip. So I've made 23 trades, but it's a buy order and a sell order. So it's been 46 and 100 bucks in commissions. So what is that? That's about 72, 73 cents per um, per trip. So it's not bad. Uh, I think when I was with amp mobile amp futures, it was between three to $5 a, a round trip or something. It was, it was pretty high. So, but anyway, I just wanted to add that little bit in there about the, uh, cause it, little, it confused me a little bit cause I really didn't want to have to pay all those subscription fees. I didn't want to have to, um, you know, be nickel and dimed, but if I want both of these platforms, that's just what I've got to do. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned. I'll do a, another video on the mobile app so you can kind of get the feel of that. I'll show you how to set up your bracket orders and that type thing. Um, be sure and stay tuned for that. And if, you, if a small account's not for you, uh, that's fine. You know, uh, I have other videos on trading with a prop firm. Uh, if you don't have a thousand dollars, that's fine. If you only have a couple of hundred, uh, start, I would recommend after you've practiced with sim with a demo account, um, then you can take that couple of hundred bucks, put it into a prop firm, recommend apex trader funding and build up your account to you get your first thousand dollars, then throw that into a personal account. Then you can trade it. All right. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, stay tuned to my other videos. Bye.